The Galaxy Note 10 is around the corner and, well, it's, it's on the subway too. This was released today. You can see the device in someone's hand, a working model or a prototype. And we know what we're getting with Samsung these days, but that's one of the problems. We know it's gonna be a great phone, but the camera hasn't really improved or changed that much from even the Galaxy S8. That's not the case for the Mate series though, and we're in for another big one this year. Some big changes in the Mate 30 Pro this year, including an even more improved camera. So first we had rumors that there was gonna be a 40 plus 40 plus eight camera setup on the Mate 30 Pro this year. We know that the design of the Mate 30 is changing too. It's gonna to have a much more pronounced curve on the edges of the screen there. But what we know is also changing big time is the camera setup, making an already great camera, probably one of the best cameras for stills anyway, even better. So first year, let's take the zoom camera, apparently an eight megapixel shooter. They'll be taking that straight off the P30 Pro. Literally one of the best cameras I have ever used in my life, including, you know, like these expensive Canon cameras. The Huawei P30 Pro, just it's just more convenient. It has a better zoom range. There's no way that Huawei are gonna leave that out of the Mate 30 Pro this year. It's an incredible feature. It's miles ahead of the competition. The only one that even comes close is maybe the Oppo Reno 10 times zoom edition. It's easily one of the most innovative improvements in camera technology in recent times. And I just cannot see Huawei leaving that out of their latest flagship product. So how about the main sensor? That's a 40 megapixel camera. Doesn't sound too much different from previous models. And yes, it does have the same amount of megapixels, apparently, but the actual sensor is different. So according to the latest information we have, Huawei are gonna be using a brand new, very big sensor under that main camera unit. Much, much bigger than in previous years models and certainly way bigger than the current sensors that Samsung is using. So apparently this will be a one over one and a half inch sensor with a lens with variable apertures from 1.4 to 1.6. Why is this important? Well, Ice Universe yesterday, a prolific leaker from China, just did an infographic telling us the difference between the Samsung sensor sizes and Huawei's sensor sizes. They were different before, the Samsung's was bigger, but over time, the Huawei sensor has become larger and larger and larger. And it looks to be even larger this year, one of the biggest sensors we're gonna see in a smartphone. It's physically bigger and usually bigger sensor equals better camera. Now there's so many other Factors to take into account, of course, software is a huge part these days, but it shows us that Huawei is taking this seriously. Huawei apparently is adding variable aperture on the lens as well, which means in low light, they can open up the aperture, let more light in and take better low light shots. That is something that we've already seen on the Samsung, so it's good that Huawei want to include it on their device. So it looks like this is gonna be a beast for low light photography. If the last year's models needed any help, it was already one of the best for low light photography. Another improvement that we might see is the addition of one or maybe more cine lenses on the phone. A cine lens is usually a very, very expensive lens specifically for taking video. These are hugely expensive, usually reserved for big cinema style cameras. There's not too much information about Huawei are actually gonna implement this. And really, how much can you honestly do with the tiny lenses that you find in these cameras? We don't know if it's actually gonna help or whether it's a bit of a marketing gimmick. But one thing is for sure, that is an area where I think Huawei do need to improve a little bit. Video is a definite weak spot for Huawei phones. I think when taking images, they are some of the best phones you can get. But video does seem to be a little bit of a weak spot, whether it's the actual hardware or the processor that they use. I'm glad that Huawei do seem to be concentrating a little bit more on video right now. And talking about improvements, it looks like the wide angle lens is in for an upgrade too. So the ultra wide camera is going from 20 megapixels to 40 megapixels. It's also getting a bump up in the actual sensor size. So from what I can see, they're taking the old sensor that they used under the main camera unit, using that for the ultra wide lens camera, and then using an even better camera under the main camera unit. Huawei are apparently using a cine lens on that one too. It's yet to be seen how exactly they're gonna implement all of this, 
and how it's gonna benefit us for video. But in terms of camera hardware, Huawei are just not beaten right now. Samsung is nowhere near in terms of sensor sizes and what they're trying to do with their camera hardware, but we know that hardware is only half of the problem. You can take a look at Pixel phones that only have one camera unit and take some of the best images in the industry. So it's not just about hardware, software is a huge player. But if you can get both things right, having big sensors under your camera units and good software too, you're gonna to have an unbeatable camera. It remains to be seen what exactly Huawei are gonna give us. That is the latest roundup of the rumors about the Huawei camera right now. Of course, the Note 10 and the Mate 30 Pro will be compared on the channel to see what those cameras are like. So what do you think about the new rumored setup? Not confirmed yet, but it's looking pretty likely. Are you looking forward to the Mate 30 Pro or do you think the Note 10 is more for you? Let me know in the comments. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.